Hello everyone and welcome to, well welcome back to James's Minecraft Journal. My name is James the Douglas, welcome to a laggy world, which was laggy even before I started recording. Ah, oh, now I'm down at 5 frames per second. This is not my day for anything to be honest. I wonder if there's a way to fix it. See, look at this guys, 5 frames per second with Optifine. With Optifine. It's just not... Not good enough. At first I thought it was the uh, the chickens over here, but if you look, my frames actually increase. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they're still stuck at five. There is a lot of chickens about. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not my day for anything at the minute. Low frames. Uh, I should be doing other things, but I wanted to get an episode out. I didn't want to make it just another boring exploring one, so instead I decided you know what, let's build something. Let's just build another farm. We've already got um, a wheat farm over... right over there. It's out of render distance at the minute. That's the last thing I can do to make anything right, is I can do that. I also turned that on, but I don't think it works. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm not... I'm not having such a good day. I, uh, I've got an essay to write. I've got washing to hang out. I've got oh, there's tons of stuff I've got. It's just I don't have um, I didn't have to, I didn't have time to. Oh, I thought I had time to do this, but it's been about two hours now since I started this because it's taken so long to get the uh, the materials for for doing this. Lots of redstone required, lots of iron required, and like I, I would love to make my videos less laggy, but at this point in time, you know, there's not much I can do. I'm trying to figure out what the lag is coming from. I think it could be the hoppers downstairs, because this is like right above where the hoppers are. Uh, however, I'm not so convinced about it by that. I'm not sure why. It just I think it's something else. It's probably it could be entity count. We do have a high entity count. Two hundred forty-five. I mean, it's not massive entity count, but it's it's pretty high. Uh, it could be the fact that my Minecraft is in full screen. Maybe I should minimize it. But the thing is, I don't want to do that either, just because I'm stubborn. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to try and build all this on camera. My frames are slightly better than they were. They've doubled <laughs> from 4 to 8 frames per second. But whatever. We'll just have to live with it. So, what am I building here? Well, as I said, we're building another farm. Although this time I think we're going to go and build a carrot farm. Now, it was a choice between doing a... Oh, shoot. Oh, no, we should be alright. I thought I did it wrong there. Maybe I... I Hope I haven't. If I've done this wrong, I'm going to be so annoyed. I'm actually going back home for the Easter holidays uh, on Friday and, well, tomorrow. <laughs> if you're watching this episode tomorrow. Um, wait, no, that made no sense. This episode will be going out tomorrow and then the day after that I will be going back home for the Easter. And, yeah, I just... I. I should be doing a bunch of stuff to prepare for that. I should be finishing off my essay. Probably should be starting the essay, to be honest, because I've not actually started it. Please have enough. Yes! Alright, we're all good. So as you can see, we have made put all the pistons down. Again, we're just going with the concept of... Or not concept. We're going for the... Pistons are extended kind of approach. And then when we want to harvest it, we just pull the lever and the pistons go down. And that harvests the crops. We're going for three stacks of carrots. Well, one one need one would need three stacks of carrots in order to fill this farm, but it should give us more than three stacks because obviously, unlike wheat, uh, you get more than one carrot from each. Or well, you get one to three. I think it is one to three, maybe four. I honestly don't know uh, off the top of my head, but it's something like that. So we're going for three stacks of uh, stuff here, which. It's quite a lot, but it should should be alright. Carrots are useful, because I mean, you need them for things like breeding pigs, 
you can have them as a food source, you can, I mean they're not the best food source on their own. Golden carrots are amongst the best food source, that's another reason why I'm having it, although it's a bit of a waste of gold in my opinion to make golden carrots unless one has a has a gold farm. Alright, so some progress has been made. We have got the outer border done and we've got the outer pistons done, as you can see. And it's now time to work on the inner pistons. Uh, so this, the inner, the very inner pistons that we've got here shouldn't be too difficult. All we need to do is just run a straight wire all the way down. Oh, crumbs apart from the fact that we've got to uh, do a repeater halfway up it. Um, but yeah, there is a slight issue in that the, and this was the same with the, the previous model which is used over there. The wires are obviously not long enough to reach the very, 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 very far end. So all we do is we just add in a little bit of a repeater trick here. That there, that there. Take that away. Oh wait, no, we don't need to take that away. There we are. So repeater under a block there and just continue the wire after that and it uh, works fine. Let's bring that down so we can get up. Um, now the next bit is basically uh, a little bit harder because we've got to put in the water streams and then we've got to put in the wiring under that. Now again I am repeating myself because I've already done this I've already showed it on camera, but I'm going to show it again. Um, I should mention that this design or this redstone trick I learnt from Etho. So that is uh, that's where I <laughs> that's where I got the that thing from. I mean, I'm not the worst at redstone, but at the same time, I do have a limited limit of knowledge, and this is something I would not be able to come up with on my own. So I'm putting uh, pumpkins, this is where the water is going to be, to n saturate the uh, the soil, to nurture the soil, just like the Nile. Well, actually, nothing like the Nile, but whatever, it's still valid. Alright, well, I just went ahead and finished it. It was far, far too laggy to record anything. Also, I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, we finally finished. I bone mealed a bunch of carrots, and we are now just planting them, but it works. It works well. Uh, I've not actually, that's a good point, I've not actually tested the pistons. I mean, I, oh, I've tested some of them, but not all of them. So, there might be some that don't work, but we'll, we'll try that out. We'll try that out once all the carrots have grown. Because you got to be re very careful when replanting them, because otherwise, you sh when right-clicking, you might accidentally hit that lever. I bet you hit that lever on this return. I just, I know I will. Um, but yeah, this is it. So we finally we did get something built this uh, this episode. Unfortunately, it was very laggy, and I've got a feeling that's going to happen to a lot of my my builds and 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 things that I make in this world. Uh, I think upgrading to 1.8 might help it because I can like Garfunkel, for example, has a lot of buildings in it, redstone and whatnot, and I can walk around that while recording with no problem. Whereas this is nowhere near the size and scale of Garfunkel and I am lagging in it. Um It's not actually that bad at the minute, so I maybe it's just something on my computer. I d I don't know, it's just one of these things. I know why it's here, it's because of all these entities. There's a ton of chickens in there and, and everything, but Anyway, that is it for this episode. We have got another farm built, which is great. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'll try and put an episode out tomorrow, but tomorrow might be crazy time as I try to finish this essay. Uh, however, after tomorrow, Friday and beyond for the next couple of weeks, I'll be on holiday. And I will hopefully be able to put more time into this. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.